only the basic concepts are covered in the quiz. Which fan has higher efficiency, axial or radial? In both axial and radial fans, air enters axially in fan. In the radial fan, air bends by 90 degrees before it comes out of fan radially. In the axial fan, air comes out axially. In a radial fan, a gap is created at the bend and circulating air currents flows in the gap. Energy is required to circulate the air current. This energy is lost, resulting in the reduced efficiency of radial fan. The short pitch winding increases or decreases overhang length of winding. Winding is made short pitch, maintaining gap between the coils. The overhang length of stator winding decreases with the short pitch winding. Distributed winding decreases or increases harmonics. Harmonics means higher frequency components that is phaser of harmonic is running faster than the fundamental. In case of concentrated winding, arithmetic addition is done to obtain resultant EMF. In case of distributed winding, phasers of harmonics rotates faster. Resultant EMF in case of harmonics reduces drastically. In case of right hand thumb rule, curl of fingers points in the direction of current or flux. Curl of fingers points in the direction of flux. Poles of the generator are just below conductors. EMF induced in the conductors is maximum or zero. Flux is in the plane of a coil that is flux linking the coil is zero. However, the rate of change of flux linking the coil is maximum. Hence, induced EMF is maximum. In the main exciter of the flux excitation system, armature is on stator or rotor? Armature is on rotor. AC produced in armature is rectified by rotating diode bridge and DC current is fed into generator field winding. In DC excitation system, pilot exciter is self-excited or separately excited. Pilot exciter is self-excited. DC produced by the pilot exciter is fed into main exciter. In a power angle curve, at what angle maximum power transfer takes place? Maximum power transfer takes place at load angle 90 degree. If there is a large increase in load for a very short time, which analysis is used? Transient or steady state? Transient analysis is used. If part occurs at load angle A and PE becomes zero, since PM has become greater than PE, there is acceleration. Omega R becomes greater than Omega S. Load angle increases to B. Part clear at load angle B. Output electrical power PE is restored back. PM has become less than PE. There is deceleration. Omega R starts decreasing. However, omega R is still greater than omega S. Load angle keeps on increasing till omega R becomes equal to omega S. From load angle A to B, there is acceleration. Area A1 is called area of acceleration. From load angle B to C, there is deceleration. Area A2 is called area of deceleration. During acceleration, surplus energy is stored in rotor. During deceleration, surplus energy is released. Since energy stored is equal to energy released, these areas A1 and A2 are equal. 
This is called equal area criteria. In the case considered, load angle has crossed steady state stability limit, that is load angle 90 degree. Question is whether generator returns back to steady state or not. In case omega r becomes equal to omega s, before load angle reaches B, P is more than PM, there is deceleration and generator returns to steady state. In case omega r becomes equal to omega s, after load angle crosses D, P e is less than PM and there is acceleration. Load angle keeps on increasing and generator does not return back to steady state. In a generator region, rotor flux leads or lacks the stator flux. Direction of current in conductors is found by applying Fleming's right hand rule. By applying right hand thumb rule, direction of armature flux is found. Stator flux is a resultant of rotor flux and armature flux. As can be seen, rotor flux leads stator flux in a generator region.